Ooh, let's get into this. What do we start with? The beef wellington or the rib cap? Is Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse overrated? Let's find out. Everyone, welcome back to another food video here in Las Vegas. So today we are at Paris. We're gonna be trying Gordon Ramsay's Steakhouse. First look when you walk in, very cool atmosphere, nice vibe, staff is super nice. Uh, you walk in through this tunnel. So welcome to Gordon Ramsay Steak. Now what we're standing in, this is our English tunnel. It has taken us all the way from Paris to London. And then I'll show you to your table, which is upstairs. We're on the second floor, we got this really nice booth over here. There's two floors. Very cool feeling here. Let's take a look at the menu and see what they got. I think you guys already know by now. Hashtag rib cap in the chat. <laughs> Wagyu rib cap, $95. I think that is now the most expensive rib cap. Let's see how it is. And also, we're at Gordon Ramsay. You gotta try the roasted beef Wellington. So we'll see how that is. We'll probably split that. We'll split both of them. We'll split both of them to see if we try both. As far as appetizers, the American Wagyu sliders, mac and cheese. <laughs> Maybe the mac and cheese, we'll see how that goes. They brought out this um, pull apart bread with Hawaiian sea salt on the butter. Okay, so let's try one of these pull apart bread. I'll just grab this one. Ooh, it melts nice, right on it. It's nice and warm. I'll load it up with butter. Okay. Uh, Gordon Ramsay, so I mean, we gotta have high hopes for this place, right? It should be good. Let's we'll see how it is. Nice and soft. It is warm. The butter and the salt is nice. Nice bread. Yeah. It's bread. Don't fill up on the bread. But we got some Wagyu sliders to try. These look good. Comes a little pickle. Smells nice. Whoa. That's <laughs> really good. Nice and soft, very juicy. It basically like pulls apart. It's, it melts in your mouth. It, it's really good. Very tasty. Okay, you gotta try it. You're gonna take that one. This is a nice slider. Truffle cheese sauce is very nice. It's very tender, nice and soft. Wow, they're really good. The flavors blend so well together. Definitely recommend trying those. Great start. Okay, so we got the uh, truffle fries, the pork belly mac and cheese. This is half of the beef wellington. And the rib cap. Ooh, let's get into this. What do we start with? The beef wellington or the rib cap? Slow mo rib cap cutting time. <laughs> First up, the rib cap cut very nice. It's looking like it's perfect medium. It's got a nice slice right here. Get a close up of it. Very tasty. Oh yeah. That's a really good rib cap. The char on top is like a perfect amount of like a little bit of a crunch texture. Inside is so soft and juicy. This is, it's really good. This is a good quality um, rib cap for sure. Is it a contender? Bobby, Bobby, <laughs> is it a contender? But yeah, that's a, uh, Out of all the rib caps I've had so far, this one has the most char on it. It adds a little bit of a crunch to the, the texture of it. Oh, it's really good. Very good cut, nice and thick. I approve of the rib cap. When you eat a rib cap, then you can't go eat any other beef. I know. It's, 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 I'm just gonna go with beef Wellington. I'm gonna give it to the people over there. So you like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so you like the, beef, the rib cap way better? Like, big difference? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. 
So this is the beef wellington, Gordon Ramsay's signature food over here. It's really good. Like, if you were just ordering beef wellington, you'll be happy with it. But if you're ordering the rib cap and beef wellington, the flavor on the rib cap is way better. There's so much flavor, better texture, everything. So yeah, but no, this is this is really good too. The only way you can actually get the beef wellington is a medium rare. They will not substitute it. That's the way it comes. So if you're not a fan of uh, medium rare, you're not gonna get the beef wellington. The pastry on the bottom is really nice. It's two completely different textures. Yeah, two completely different textures, and then you get a little. A little smear of a potato puree over here. Really good. It's very good. Honestly, I'll tell you this: if you're if you're with someone, I recommend getting half and half. It's a good amount of both. It's very good. Yeah. Both. That was so good. Honestly, sometimes if you go to a place and you're not and you're very hungry, things just taste so much better. We literally just ate not too long ago. I haven't even touched the pork belly mac and cheese over here. This is the pork belly mac and cheese. And it looks like there's ketchup. Oh, for the fries. And this is, so this is for the fries too. What is this, do you know? Mustard aioli. Mustard aioli. So we'll put that aside over here because we don't need that right now. We'll go to the fries after. So this is a spoon for sharing over here. You don't want any of this or you can have? So then I'm just gonna dig in with this. Okay, let's try a pork belly. So these are nice, the size of the, the mac and cheese. I like noodles like this, I do like it. Let's see how I can even get it. Try to get a pork belly. That's a fine mac and cheese. The pork belly is not necessary. It doesn't need it. It does not need the pork belly. The flavor on the lo alone on the mac and cheese is great. It actually, it adds to the texture of it. It's a little, a little chewy. I'm not a big fan of those, but the mac and cheese is great. They actually, right now, they have a lobster mac and cheese with truffles you can get, but it's not always on the menu, so I decided not to get it because this one will always be here. Um, one thing Justin, Justin was just saying is everything is fast. Like, they're, they're pretty busy here. It's pretty a great amount of people in here and everything came really quick so far so good so this the the music in here is not overpowering it's not a classic like calm music like a club music but it's not overly loud which is good that's a key and they're really good at mac and cheese if you threw a little bit of lobster in here I think that'll make it even better Oh, this has a little bit of a spice. Leaving like a little hint of a something spicy. Let's try the truffle fries. So, aioli in the fries. This is really good. The fries are good fries. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend the fries. I didn't order them. <laughs> No, it's good. It's good to try different things. Let's say you get this and share with someone. Share the rib cap, share the, the um, beef wellington. Now, I'm not a fan of the pork belly. It's, cut, it's dry. It's a little dry. It actually ruins the bite because it's too chewy. Deep down in the bottom of this mac and cheese, there is some other, there's little piece of pork belly. I thought it was just on top. I would say it's not necessary. It really is like ruining the chew to it. They're a little dry. We just met John, the manager. Hi John, if you're watching, very nice to meet you. <laughs> very nice guy. The staff here is very friendly, very helpful if you have any questions. Just finishing up the rib cap. Justin barely touched it, so more rib cap for me. The dessert menu, I'm pretty full, so I don't think I'm actually gonna get anything. But if I were to get something, the strawberry cheesecake does look really good. Sticky toffee pudding is Gordon Ramsay's signature dessert. I did have it before at, at Hell's Kitchen. Okay, so this is everything we've got here. We got the Wagyu sliders, $23.95. One beef bulletin, $69.95. One Wagyu rib cap, 
$95.95, one french fry $16.95, mac and cheese $16.95, total $242.49. When I like rank these steakhouse and like kind of review them, I look at mainly the food, but overall the experience, the, the atmosphere, the people, how I feel about it. Overall, I recommend coming here. It was really good. It is slightly more expensive than other steakhouses. Everything's up a little bit. That goes along with Gordon Ramsay's name. That's, that's, you just accept that. I recommend getting a booth because you got like a nice view out here. Very good. I don't know what else to say. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Overall, this place was really good. I recommend coming, checking it out. With Gordon Ramsay's name, you're gonna pay a little bit more of it on the price tag, but very tasty. You'll leave here satisfied, for sure. I think that's it. Thank you for watching this food video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and let me know what your favorite steak is, and let me know if you've been here before. I'll see you next time. Bye.